The oscilloscope screen is called the graticule and is divided into a grid-like pattern in order to measure amplitude and frequency. The horizontal line on the graticule is used to measure time and is usually divided one by that time in order to measure the frequency. The horizontal line is used to measure amplitude and usually denotes voltage or amperage. The center line of the graticule is called the zero line. The oscilloscope trigger is used to stabilize and synchronize the signal on the screen and is usually the point at which the two trigger lines intersect. There are other ways to trigger a signal on an oscilloscope, but by far this is the most common way to trigger a signal. Waveform interpretation is an integral part of modern automotive diagnostics. There are three basic waveforms, and these are the sine wave, the square wave, and the sawtooth. But sawtooth signals are, are not widely used in automotive systems. The rounded waveform on the screen is called a sine wave. Sine waves are only generated by magnetic speed sensors. Amplitude of any waveform is the distance between the uppermost and the lowermost part of the cycle. Amplitude is used to denote voltage or amperage, and it's given in either peak or peak-to-peak. -peak. peak values are between the zero-fold line on either side of the cycle, and is usually half of the cycle waveform. Peak-to-peak, -peak, on the other hand, it's the distance or the value between the uppermost and lowermost part of the cycle. A good general rule of thumb is that a signal should have at least 2 volts peak to peak for that signal to be recognized by the module. The frequency of a speed sensor signal is directly proportional to the speed of rotation of the reluctor for that sensor. The frequency of any speed sensor signal is calculated by measuring the cycle time and then dividing 1 by the cycle time. The cycle time is the distance or the time between any two same points along the waveform. Again, these two points to calculate the cycle can be taken anywhere along the waveform, so long as they're in the exact same position. During sensor testing, Always compare your frequency to proper specifications. A further development of this idea is when testing mass airflow sensors that produce a frequency. During testing of these mass airflow sensors, always compare your frequency to proper specs between idle and wide open throttle. A sensor that is off calibration will always show up somewhere between these two points. Of, of a square wave is calculated in much the same way as a sine wave by measuring the value between the uppermost and lowermost part of the wave. And amplitude values are also calculated in either peak or peak to peak. And the frequency of the square wave is also calculated in much the same way as the sine wave by dividing 1 by the cycle time. The cycle time is the distance between any two repeating points along the waveform.